sounded so pathetic. I'm just feeling kind of tired today. I need my coffee. Do you know I've already had one cup of coffee? And I must admit, this is my Krispy Kreme decaf. Whenever I have a cup of coffee, I always have decaf second. And what else did we say? Where's my water? I think I took my water downstairs. I need to keep my water up here. All right. How y'all doing? I gotta get ready with me, don't I? <laughs> this is delicious coffee. And I'm in my little ruby-throated hummingbird. I love these, but I can't ever say the... What's the word? Not biological name. What's it called? The Latin name? Archilocus colubris. I know I'm smart. Okay. I am wearing this green top. Whenever I wear this green top, I want to always do one of two things. Is it that one? Yeah. This one is new. And it has this actual green in it that I really like. Right there. Okay. And this was my $4.99 palette from TJ Maxx. And the maker of this is profusion cosmetics and it was the metalized heavy metal collection and y'all this is a great face palette it's got great colors and it's got blushes and highlighter and i just think this is a really great palette and it's 4.99 now i don't know if you can still get it i didn't try i really should look i'm gonna try to get better about not having the dogs go ballistic in the background. Now, I'm going to try to get better about linking below things I talk about in the video. So, let's just get going. First of all, I've already put on my face the L'Oreal Age Perfect Eye um, Renewal Cream. And then this is the L'Oreal Hydra Genius. And this is for normal to dry skin. And I have been using these a lot lately. Y'all know I'm a big Chanel fan of the Cream Riche. But I'm liking these. These are very affordable. You can get it at the drugstore or grocery store as far as I know. I think I got this at the drugstore this time. Or was it the grocery store? I got this at the drugstore. Uh, Walgreens. But I do believe that you could probably get this at Kroger as well. Kroger's! I'm going to get those ear New Year's Eve earrings. They've been sitting there forever. So I'm going to get them when I go today. I am. Alright, so why is my Chanel upside down? Because I have been using this up so much that I am, is, I think it's to the bottom drips. And this is the Vital Lumiere Aqua in color 12 Beige Rose. And not to be confused with my matte um, version of Chanel, which is this. And this is the Perfection Lumiere Velvet, which I also love. Um, and it is 22 Beige Rose. They're both Beige Roses, but in this, it's 22. In this, it's 12. And one time when I ordered it through, um, who is it that gets it for me? Hold on, let me take care of that, shall I? Um, but I ordered through Blue Mercury. Um, I, I ordered through Blue Mercury, and they ship free. And that is still going? That's so weird. Okay. So. It's one of those days I can already tell. So I'm going to be using my 301 Velvet Luxe Buffing Brush from It Cosmetics. And I am not shaking this because I'm afraid if I shake it, it will just go all over the sides inside and not have any to use. I am going to go ahead and close that off. And because I've already done all my moisturizer, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Starting near the nose, and then on either side of the nose and the nose, and then around the nose, and then of course, not around the nose. <laughs> I'm in a mood, y'all. <laughs> yep. There we go. Nice smooth application. Nice glowing look. I love this. I really do. I'm not sure which one I like better anymore. The, the uh, matte looking one. Or this glowing looking one. Both of them look really good on the skin. Once I kind of go up and down this way, then I make sure I either swirl it or go the opposite direction, just not swirling. Like, I'll go this way and then I'll go this way. Just to make sure you get every place and there's no lines. And then drop your jaw. 
and blend that line right there. You don't want to have, yeah, you don't want to have lines, y'all. That looks gross. And then I always do just kind of tap into the pores. Y'all, I look so tired today. I guess I am. Why don't I just be honest? I stayed up late watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I love it. Hello, that's why I am a YouTuber probably. Okay, so we still have some left then. That, that didn't get rid of it. So great. I am going to use this um, Profusion palette to get a blush. So I'm just going to use a regular um, angled, large angled contour brush, which is the F, I think it's the F40 in Sigma. And I'm going to go to this color that's a little, um, it's, it's just very nude. It's, or it says it is. Let's see how it goes. It's blush. I'm just going to fill the brush, blush, brush up. I'm going to fill the blush brush and kind of start back here. And I'm going more at a sharp angle and then getting really right here at the bottom of my cheek and then back up to that sharp angle, then to the edges, then rounding out the temple. And then I go on over and with whatever else is left on. Let's see, didn't make it all the way over. It did. It sure did. And that is kind of a peachy pink is what it's looking like to me, y'all. Why am I having to scrunch down there? That's better. I think I went too far down. <laughs> That's okay. We'll fix it. One of the best ways to fix it, y'all, is just to either use a powder brush or to use um, a clean buffing brush and just kind of round that out like that so that it kind of fades in right there. But I do want to keep this back here white because it gives me the cut-in look without having to use contour at all. Not at all. Okay, so let's just load this back up again. Again, more instead of this way or just hitting there, I'm going almost vertical like this. Why am I doing that? Because it saves me from having to do a contouring step. And then I do round it out at the apples of the cheeks. And because I'm real cheeky right here, I do come down a little lower. And I am going to go back up in here in the hairline. What, what that helps um, when you go into the hairline like that, getting underneath the nose. It, um, and now I'm going under the chin. Um, do you hear Bree just like moaning? She wants to play ball so bad. Of course, y'all know this. Because Brie always wants to play ball. She never doesn't want to play ball. She's always in the mood to exercise. And I respect and admire her for that. Mommy, please, let's play. Mommy, please, quit sitting on your booty. Mommy, please, you'll be healthier if you play with me. <laughs> She's right. Okay, so it is a little too... Um, too much like a line up there on my um, forehead. So I am again going to get this buffing brush, kind of knock down, knock out a little of that color. So it kind of just blends in. I think I'm fine. Okay, so out of this, <clears throat> I really could just use this heavy metal on my, um, it's like a green gold, almost like an antique gold, and I'm going to use my finger because I feel like the finger is the best thing in the world for using um, shinier shadows. I think it's better than any brush, including a flat shader, even a wet flat shader. I just think it's better to use your finger. There we go. It's just giving me that green, just kind of like because I have that color on, it's just a a hint of this. It doesn't have to be a perfect match. It just can't clash. <laughs> okay. So that's the green that I wanted to get from that palette. Always remember to keep yourself a black makeup towel handy so I can just wipe my fingers off. I have to go wash my hands or anything. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm going back to an older palette. Not seeing if this is that. No. There's a lot of telemarketing calls during the day. It's very annoying. Anyway, so we're going back to a palette that I bought a while back. And I believe that when you use, when you buy a palette, you should use it over and over and over. Don't just keep buying all new palettes. And I'm a YouTuber who reviews makeup, so I do that. But really, for you guys, I would say occasionally buy something new, but use up what you have first. You'll feel better about it, for one thing. But this is the Bare Minerals the hidden treasure and I had really wanted this one for a long time and here's the colors 
Now, they're going to probably flash back because of my lights. I'm going to try to aim it down. And it may also give you a better, I'm trying to get it to the bottom of the screen too. Um, it might also give you a better review of what the colors look like. But this is a great palette. I love it. I've been waiting for it a long time. And um, so that being said, I'm going to choose Accru, which is over here is a lot of highlighters. And I like that. I like that they understand you need a lot of highlighters. Not one highlighter, many highlighters. Silver bells. Um... my little cup full of my favorite brushes and I'm going to use an E55 shading brush. I shouldn't have to look at these anymore, you know? I should have. So I'm going to use Ecru, which is the second highlighter right there. And it basically is exactly what it says. It's just an off color from a white, um, you know, a pure white um, highlighter. Going right under the brow. And then next to that is a color called Santorini. And I am going to see, do I have a little bitty? Yeah, I do. Uh, this is a Morphe Y22. And I'm going to use that to use the inner corner. And I'm going to this color Santorini. And I know that that is not a typical color for your inner corner. So let's just see how it looks. I may be making a boo-boo. Or I may be doing the best thing I've ever done in makeup history. I wouldn't say best in history, but it's pretty close. That looks fantastic. That's a nice frosty, almost has a green hue to it, so it looks great blending into that. Um, I, I literally make an inner V, because I do want that highlighter color to not just be right at the tear duct, but an inner V, just right on the inside of it. You may even want to draw it together by putting a touch of it under the back arch of the brow. Just kind of blend it like that, and kind of brings it in. 